What's going on, everybody? See here, and welcome back to some more Astro Colonies. So, in the last episode, we got our very first base started. We got our well, we got our our station started here, and we've got a little bit of stuff going on. Nothing super crazy, uh, but I did realize. I think somebody actually pointed it out that we don't actually need people yet. Um, this science right here, while it looks like a person's head, is made in the laboratory which allows us to make it without the assistance of scientists now i believe the part where we actually need a scientist is when we start getting to uh, this um this like beaker thing so we can go through we can still get to the automation we still get to automated stuff oh i'm excited i'm excited so today hopefully automated stuff is the plan and uh yeah we're gonna get there so yeah thanks again for coming out hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things again link down below if you are interested in checking out astro calling for yourself um but yeah we're gonna do a little bit more of the same in the last episode but we're gonna get some automation stuff going and um get ourselves in a position to where hopefully in the next episode maybe we'll uh we'll move and hit up a, a a planetoid but we've got to get some things you know automated first so that way our lives are just easier if you will so um let's go in here and let's um so i oh, really want to get this going so let's get construction we need four and six. Oh, that's right i can't do one without the other darn okay so let's get the mining unlocked let's get engines unlocked and it looks like we're going to, have to make a laboratory that is the next order of business um we need some wire for that so let's get this wire we'll go ahead and make some of those i think we need a 20. so we'll make some of that we'll get the laboratory going and then to feed and to get those points we have to feed it an iron and a copper bar i believe so yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be real fun all right so we got 21 total let's go ahead and get this in here now what we could do is we could do an output however like i said i think we're going to end up redoing some things here and honestly i just want to make this about as cheap as possible so let's just put that there that means that the power is already hooked up and all we have to do in order to make these points is two iron bars and two copper bars so what do we have in here okay so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna grab all of that out of there because the first thing obviously is i want the automated catchers that will make our lives so much easier so we can set those up it'll automatically catch stuff and we will have resources coming in auto magically it's so much it's so much nicer uh let's go ahead and shift split that split that let's see we'll throw 21 over there 29 in there that'll get us some points going so that's rocking and rolling now what do we need elsewhere i really like i said i'm really pushing the automated stuff um there's probably other stuff that we probably should get going but the automated stuff it's got to happen we got to do that and then we probably also need the warehouse yeah we probably also need the warehouse going as well but we should be able to get this done relatively quickly so we'll let that do its thing i'm going to go ahead and queue up some more uh asteroids here some more resources being brought in now just let me tell you if you haven't watched my previous videos it's pretty funny when you get a bunch of these because then there's just asteroids everywhere being held in these like magical tractor beams it's so good it's so good you know i just realized that we are actually not producing enough power with this guy we might need to get another one in here um let's do that because that'll make things faster if i put this if i put that there and then we go to oh we don't have the splitter yet hmm you know what that's fine let's just do this let's come in here we'll grab half a stack whoops i guess we should actually grab the stack <laughs> And then we'll throw well why did i put that there uh delete it we'll put that i need to put you in a spot that can generate power and connect right here this this will work uh let's see let's get back in here let's get this guy turn it around i want to get you connected immediately to the power grid okay there's that this there boom okay so now production uh, efficiency is 100%, so it's moving faster. Okay, cool. And 
we just unlocked our construction so now we can make uh the plates automatically but we got to get the automated catching oh that's what we need that's what we need more than anything else is the automated catching that's going to be huge and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to start um this is where we're going to start getting phase two phase 1.5 <laughs> Uh, phase one is getting things started, right? Phase one. We're still in phase one. So phase one, phase 1. 1.5. Uh, we're going to get things cleaned up just a little bit for what we can for, for now, you know? All right. We are two of the engineering sciences away. And then we get automation, uh, automated catching, which is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Now that requires a bunch of iron stuff. So we're going to put these out as we can. Um, I want to get basically this entire side full of them to start with like that's gonna be the goal ultimately okay so now that we got that research i actually want to pull everything out of here let that do its thing and then um yeah we're not gonna do anything with that i'm gonna leave that alone for now because i want to get as much iron and stuff as possible so we can build the auto catchers okay so can we go ahead and uh let's see Let's grab this guy can we go ahead and get this placed yet no we are still waiting on some plates here okay now let's see we only have two plates we're waiting on so that's not bad at all um let's go ahead and let's put the power on the outside and we're basically just gonna get a line of them going across the side for here and then we'll get them um basically connected into here so what i need to do is actually get these all connected into there. And I also need to get a whole bunch of wires so we can wire this into our main power line. Oh, we need so many resources in the beginning, but it's totally worth it. Oh, wow. Are you grabbing one already? That's weird. Cause you're not even powered. I guess it just automatically grabs it and waits for power. Oh, very nice. Very cool. Indeed. Oh no. I put this on the wrong way. Hmm. I don't need, I need to make sure the output is facing the correct way. That'll work. Okay. That'll work. Cause what we'll do is we'll have them like this and then the output will be the same. They can go on the same belt. I think, I think we can have them this way. You know what? Can we unlock solar panels yet? Solar panels are like a huge, awesome thing to get. No, solar energy is way up here. And that requires gold wire and gold wire is probably made in the manufacturer where it's plates and the wires. And then we need to make gold plates to make gold wires. And yeah, so we're not, we're not even close to that. All right. So we're going to hook up to a basic energy source for now then. So this will just go this way. All right, we are hooked up to power, which is awesome, but there needs to be, I mean, there's an output in here, so it'll hold a little bit. Um, actually that'll hold a decent amount for now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Automated for first automated things going. So I want to put as many as I can in this row right here and get just basically as much automation. We got to get the automation going. Okay. Yes, I know you can go to sleep. Thank you, bot. All right, so I made a mistake on this one because this I wanted facing on the outside, <laughs> which means like as as easy as it is, um, it's not so easy. But one, you can't even tell where it's at to be to be completely fair here. Oh yeah, you kind of can. You can see what side it's going to be on. So in reality, it should be on this side. Oh, which is kind of a bummer because like I don't want to take that one down and redo it, but we're going to have to do it because if I don't do it right now, and we're going to be sitting with this for a little bit. So we've got to do it. Um, we've, we've got to do it. We're going to delete this. We are going to flip this guy around. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of these wires. And then we're going to run them this way. All 
Okay, so now they're both powered. So that's how we're gonna have it. Yes, because because they can only go straight up and then out and around. They can't like do um, they can't like turn around and go backwards, you know. And that's what we need to make sure it's happening. So, uh, yeah, look at that. There's number two. And then what we'll do is we'll have the actual conveyor belt running on the outside here, and going into a, I guess going into one smelter for now. Yeah, probably. How much power do these things take? Uh, consumption is four. Okay. So we're gonna have to increase our power situation as well. Hmm. That will be fine. Okay, so I think it's about time that we actually made that recycling machine that uh, it's wanted us to make for a while. And the reason for that is so that way when we uh, disconnect something, we can actually recycle it to get the materials back out of it and not just kind of like leave it. Uh, so yeah, right there will work. And basically what we do here is if I go to the inventory, uh, let's see if I have... So I can recycle these three cables to get uh, electrical cable back. However, I could actually use these cables too. So like if I build, if I take it out, I could still build with that item. Um, here, an example. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this and that. But instead of getting the resources back, I, ha I got them back like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here because I don't need those specific recyclers anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're also going to go ahead and grab that one and that one. And then we're going to run conveyor belts. Basically, I think straight here. And these are going to attach into there, go straight to there. And then it's just going to use the existing stuff. And then it's going to get sorted out and separated and all that wonderful stuff. But hopefully um, we can get all this going and we can get a whole bunch of uh, these guys and then have like a nice, a nice income of, of resources so we can build and do whatever we want to do. Place harpoon connector on the edge of space station. It will snap to the green arrow. Ha! <laughs> not yet. We're not ready for that. Oh my gosh, it actually lined up perfectly too. I can't believe that. Cannot believe that actually lined up perfectly. Alright, so the next course of action, since I already have three of these going, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna try getting them going into the smelters. That way the resources can taken out and they can get processed right away. That way I don't have to go through, because I mean, actually, you know what? It's really not that bad going through grabbing these. Basically just grabbing everything out of here and then throwing it into storage. It's really not terrible. And then we also need to work on getting our um, our power situation a little bit better too, because we need to get a splitter in here to split this uh, charcoal coming in, or coal or whatever it is, carbon. So we have two of these guys. That one's not even spinning. Do those blades actually spin? No, they don't actually spin. That's okay. You know what? <laughs> Honestly, it's little things like that, that if these blades were actually spinning, that could possibly, like these things. Okay, I see this, because like that's a big machine, you know, just have it sitting there not doing anything. These blades, I feel like that would just cause lag and it's unnecessary. As long as you tell the machine is working by looking at it, you should be good. You know, instead of moving all these resources so far away, I feel like we could do this a little bit more efficiently. I feel like we could do all of this a little bit more efficiently. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do all of this a little bit more efficiently. Oh, look at it. Slurp it all up. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these out of here as well. Yeah, we could definitely do this better. And we're to the point where a little bit of effort now might take us a lot longer in the future. Like, it'll last us longer in the future. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, I want to go ahead and get rid of this line as well. Because I feel like we could uh, put these in a better spot. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's work on, let's kind of work backwards here. Let's get our storage unit, first of all. Uh, let's see, we're gonna bring these out. So instead of bringing them out that way, we could just bring them in from here. I could bring them in this way from here. That would give us a buffer tube and then we could immediately go into a smelter here and then split off from there. I like that. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And then from that, uh, let's see, hold on, let's go into uh, we do need an oxygenator, but we are going to need 
So there's that. So let's get our smelter first. So let's go ahead and get a um, smelter right there. And then we need our oxygenator. We need our water machine next. Okay, so where is our crush? Where's our ice crusher at? Oh, right there. So we could have the ice crusher coming in right here. And then from there, we could have the water. Now, I do want a little bit of a storage tank here. So we'll put that there. Okay, now we also need power to run absolutely everything. So our power for now is going to be um, these generators. And these are going to be bringing us power everywhere. So what we need to do is we need to place these somewhere. Um... Preferably somewhere in the beginning. That way they're not going to get backed up if in case something else gets full and then we run out. Now nah, that'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. Everything holds a pretty decent amount of stuff anyway, so. Okay, so there's those two. So that'll all work there. Let's go ahead and let's get a conveyor belt in here. Um, I took up a whole bunch of conveyor belts, so we might actually have enough for some of this. So we need one input there, one input there. One there, one there. Okay, so now we can go ahead and run. Ooh, that actually needs to be rotated that way. Oh, am I out of, am I out of belts? No. Okay. So there's those that looks good. And then what I need to do is we actually need to make a floor. So it wanted me to make a floor. We're going to have to make a floor now because we need to bring our belt out. Let's go ahead and get rid of these three railings can't remove item item is locked delete what control right click remove item is locked oh Oh, do we have, do we not, do we not get destruction? No, we did. Why are you locked? I don't like that. <sighs> okay, we're going to do this and we're going to have to move. <sighs> we're going to move all these. Okay, so I have some conveyor belts like that. I have them going through the railing. It looks like they'll work for now. Uh, but let's get these in here. Let's make sure this is actually going to work here. So that power on there. Now, should we try to line this? Should we try to center these? You know what? I don't think it's going to matter. You know what? We can actually have them closer because this one could output to this belt here. And then we could have these two right next to each other and then have a space and then have those. Two. Okay. So that'll work. So let's get our conveyors in here. I think this is all working just fine. So that's going to output to there. This is going to go this way, that way, and that's going to output those two. So everything is actually looking pretty good here. Uh, we need to get power hooked up and then we need to get, we got to get some, uh, function blocks in here. So let's get those in here. We don't have the splitter, do we? Do we, do we have the splitter yet? What does it take to get the splitter? Um, I want that. Oh, we got to get the, um, I completely forgot about the research place. So I guess we don't need the splitter yet. 
No, not yet. All right, so we're going to put a pusher there. Um, and a pusher there. That one needs to go away. Those three items. And then we have ice, not ice. Delete that. Ice. And then I'd like to put a splitter here, but it's not going to let us. So for now, we'll put that there and then we'll have to put another power thing there. Okay, so now what we also need to do is we also need to get our um, our water tank hooked back up here. Now, actually, I believe we had six to do that. I think that will actually f work just... Oh, shoot! That's not going to work like that because we got to get power. So we'll put it like that and then we'll put the tube on this side. <laughs> okay, now we got to get power hooked up. So let's see, let's go into power. We're gonna grab these three. We're gonna run them this way up and over. Like that. And then let's see, you're already hooked in. You are already hooked in. We gotta get this guy hooked in. Let's run it over the top like that. Nope, run it over the top like that. That should work. And that is so much more compact than what we had before. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, we need the, uh, we need that, we need that thing in the middle. We need the uh, auction barrier. Um, I feel like that should just go in the middle to be completely honest. <laughs> like where else, where else does it belong? It belongs in the middle. Now, eventually we will work on hiding wires and stuff. Uh, that's why I did my last playthrough and it was really cool. Basically just ran everything under the floors and it was super fun. Uh, but for now, this will work. Okay, so that looks good. That looks good. Everything else here looks good. Let's go ahead and get some power in here. Okay, there's that one. That one. I'm going to go ahead and split this. Okay, powered up. Those are powered on. That's powered on. How's uh, how's power looking? Ninety percent efficiency. So we could probably use another generator, which is fine. Uh, let's see. Do we have any ice in our inventory? Let's go ahead and just drop that in here. Let it do its thing. And then we've got oxygen. So let's grab our oxygen things. Put those in there. That's gonna make the bubble. Now we have oxygen again. I think that looks so much, but doesn't that just look so much nicer already? Please, I just, I don't need you right now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That looks so much better already. And we've got automation going. So um, these are automatically pulling stuff in. We're automatically getting things processed. This is automatically storing things. Now we probably should put a storage right here. Um, Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. But I think we're okay for now. I think we're fine for now. I don't think we're producing... Like, if this is starting to get full of stacks of something, then we'll address it then. But I think we're okay for now. Now, the other things that we didn't get going... Um, I need to get the... Where's the science? Oh, hold on. We got to get the recycling machine in here. Um, let's just put that... Let's just throw that right there for now. I'm not really worried about it sitting there in the way of anything. We can always move it if we need to. Um, and then where is our lab? All right, so let's get the lab in here. So we'll put the lab right here as well. Trying to keep everything as nice and close together as possible. So that looks good. Now, the other things that we need, I believe this is a hydro generator, which is going to generate hydrogen for us. And then this is a constructor, which we also need to get going as well. Um, but for now, I want to get this part down. I want to get basic raw resources being brought in at um, a much quicker rate than what they are. And yeah, awesome. Okay, everything's looking good. 
Okay, so I got a fourth automated deal in here. Um, I'm running. I need, I need more iron. Like we need so much more iron, so much faster. <laughs> so like, I, the more of these I make, hopefully the faster we're gonna get on um, iron. But I am also like, I we're we're killing the power here too. So we definitely it's like 64% because each one of these takes four power to run. So, I mean, just in these two alone, we've got what 16 power. And we've only got 20 power available, not including like all the other machines running. So yeah, uh, getting the solar panels would be super useful. And I'm pretty sure they take gold, if I'm not mistaken. So like, um, those are hand actually, you know, what I just realized. Okay. I do have seven gold bars. I was wondering, I was like, wait, did, did we lose all of our gold when I deleted that stuff? Luckily not. But like I said, uh, solar energy is a little ways off here. Yeah. So we're going to be running, we're going to be running carbon energy for a while. I'd actually like to get, I wonder if that would fit right there. Or if we have to have it off. I mean, you know what? We could always just throw another one right in there yeah maybe we'll see all right we're gonna officially connect that line up so now we've got all four of them officially running you know i didn't even look to make sure are these actually yeah okay they are outputting right there i wanted to make sure that that was actually working like it was supposed to <laughs> oh how's this one working this one's working good okay cool so yeah look at we got a nice um, a nice line of resources. That's because this one was already uh, kind of backing up a little bit from not having a belt access. But as you can see, things are coming along very nicely. Very nicely indeed. Uh, let's see. How are you looking? Do we need to split this up? Probably need to split that up. Oh, this one actually doesn't look too bad. Mm, maybe we should go ahead and get the third generator. We probably should get the third generator in here sooner rather than later. And then we'll go ahead and you know what? We'll just take that, uh, split that stack. Put that in here. Like I so. And then grab this guy and go whoop. Nope, wrong way. Like that. And then that should make these run a little bit faster. 31 network consumption, 31 load. Actually, you know what? If we go ahead and turn this off, we are now at 100%, baby. 100%. Yes. We like being at 100% because that makes the uh, processing actually faster. All right, so I let some time go. Um, I was out harvesting stuff by hand, and that was because I wanted to get enough material so we could build, hopefully, uh, the rest of these all at once. For now, for now. Um, also, I am realizing that it wants me to connect four harpoon connectors. Uh, one of four. And... I already took up a side here, so we'll have to play with that later. And basically, a harpoon connector, um, I believe, is it hooks on the side, and that's where you like, you know, pull yourself to a planet side, so that way everything lines up nice. But anyways, let's go ahead. Um, let's get, let's get this guy. Oh darn it! I wanted to get this guy here, and I wanted to get the wire. Put that wire back in there. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get some of these in here. So. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. It fits right here. Okay. So that's going to go right there. And then we're going to rotate this way. And it needs to be back by one. Interesting that it can't go there. It has to go right here. So one there. Now we can go out that side there, so that one doesn't have to be right next to each other. So then we have to space this one. And then, oh no, I had enough to have five on each side, but apparently we're not having five on each side. That's fine. So let's go ahead and get conveyor belts hooked in first. I'm not going to do power. <laughs> I'm not going to do power yet. Power is going to kill this thing. Oh my gosh, power is going to kill my whole station. So uh, let's go ahead and let's work on belts. Actually, you know what? I know I'm going to need... How many is this whole side right here? Oh no, I put them. Ugh, that's not gonna work. Hold on. Okay, there we go. 
I had to move it back a little bit. It was, uh, it was, yeah, it was sticking way too far. That wasn't gonna work for us. So let's see how many plates do I have. I have twelve. Let's go ahead and say I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna need at least twenty more, right? So let's go ahead and queue those up. Oh, we're going through so much iron today. And it's iron that's the problem too. It's like nothing, not the copper, not even an issue. Um, so that's gonna give us an additional demand up. Another sixteen demand, and we're currently sitting at. 26 so it's gonna put us up to if we do another 16 36 uh 42 yeah 42 power so we're gonna need two more generators going in order to power all these things yeah i mean i i, I why, why not right <laughs> um maybe i can get let's see can i get two generators like maybe one two that will work okay and then we'll hook up the wires from here we'll do that like that okay okay that'll work that'll work uh now how much wire do i have oh i've got all the wire in the world okay All right, so those are all going. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Now, eventually what we'll do is we'll have, uh, instead of trying to keep it on a cube, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a platform coming off of this side over here and a platform off of this side over here. Um, and then that's gonna be our collection area. And then that's gonna get sent down to, I think maybe a level in here where we'll have like our main processing area, kind of things like that. So that's that's future reorganization stuff. This is just so we can get the materials to do all the building because once we start building additional floors, oh my gosh, talk about sucking up resources. We're gonna be sucking up a lot of resources, like a lot, a lot. So we're gonna need to be uh, on top of that. So let's go ahead and split that, split that, split that. We'll go ahead and take these. Okay, so you can't split it. You can't split it like that. <laughs> All right, so we'll throw one in there and throw one in there. So now everything should be fully powered still, right? Did I math that correctly? <laughs> yes, awesome. 42 power. Okay, so now we are waiting on belts. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get belts in here. We can do a, a total, a grand total of 30. So what I want to do is actually like that. Like that and then what we're gonna do is I want to start with I want to start with okay so we actually only have to go right here there's those oh my gosh we actually had enough we had enough to do it I can't believe that I really wish I could get rid of these side rails these guard rails are here I don't know why they won't let me though like it just will not let me delete them <laughs> wait what if I just rotate it It'll let me rotate it, but it won't let me delete it. <laughs> Why? This item, I can't remove item is locked. There must be a way to like lock an item. And I just don't know how, I just don't know how to do it. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Oh my gosh, they're all online. Look at that, this belt is actually fully saturated. It's because all of these machines were collecting stuff without a belt to uh, place them in. So that's kind of the dealio. But once they all get moving and they're all like allowed to move freely, I think we'll be just fine. Oh, yes now yes all of this is still going into one smelter and that's because these smelters they're pretty quick and they can smelt multiple items at the same time so like as you see there's not really like okay copper got backed up a little bit there for a second but like it's it's really not bad and then once we get an advanced smelter it'll be even faster so oh look at this automation look at all of the beams of of amazement oh look at that one's coming in right there suck up all those asteroids suck them all up um we might actually start running into a water and ice issue oh did we ever select this to be making okay good <laughs> i was like oh no that would have been burn. um okay that's all looking wonderful oh i love it so now what we're gonna do uh let's actually go into our tech here so i have 158 basic science points we need to get some engineering science points so that way we can unlock some uh, further things. I really want to get this automation. I really want to get the splitter going because the splitter will help us uh, a lot. <laughs> yes. 
That splitter will help us a lot. So if we could get that splitter going, that'd be great. Um, we basically need to fully automate this whole system, but I want to kind of see what we're getting. I mean, we're getting a decent amount of stuff. Let me go ahead and pull these all in my inventory here. Um, I'm going to let this sit here for 10 minutes. I want to see after 10 minutes what we got. So, um, hold on. Completely, well, completely empty, kind of. 10 minutes. All right, so we've been about 10 minutes in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, righty. Now, keep in mind, this is completely, um, this is completely like RNG based because like whatever asteroids they get, whatever asteroids they grab and whatever they're made of is what we get. So, uh, but not bad, not bad at all. I will happily take that. Make sure I don't have anything on in here that's going to turn anything to anything. Nope. Looks good. And that gives us a little bit more of the building power that we're going to need. So let's see, is everything good in here? Oh man, these are about out. Oh wow, 121 in that one, very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and get these topped off. This one's completely out. And we'll throw another one in there. Okay, cool, so those will look good. And um, yeah, I guess it's about time. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's, um, let's split this. Uh... We'll do 60 we'll throw 60 in there and we'll throw 60 of these in there as well and is it already powered it is okay so let's go ahead and turn that on and we're gonna let this do its thing get a little bit of science in here so that way we'll have those uh those points available to us next time but that is gonna end this episode thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things we started our automation automation is good and I think we're ready to get into uh, some more phases here. Some new phases, some new things. Maybe get some solar panels going. That'd be super nice. Then we can completely cut the coal out. Um, and yeah, that would, that would... Is this coal? Carbon ore. Okay, it's carbon ore. We can cut the carbon ore out completely. Um, that'd be super handy. But we got to get to the... Uh, we got to get to the solar panels. And I think they require gold too. And we don't have a lot of gold. We have 19 gold. That's not a lot. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, but thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Again, if you're interested in Astro Colony, link down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.